Look into the fire. It will warm you. Keep you company on dark, lonesome nights, yes? But left unchecked, it will consume everything in its path. An attachment being a desire one denies, being able to live without is easily binding. Wishes give life a flavor unlike any other. The needle that stitches our desires to destruction is the attachment our wishes must be true. Remind me not to let you name the next world we discover. Give it time. You didn't like me much at first either. Jury's still out. <laughs> Santari Cree alongside Dagon Gera's pilgrimage founded them a safe haven. Dagon attached his dreams of a training ground for initiates to take place here on the planet Tanalor. The sacred temple was marauded, unable to stop the destruction even with their best efforts to protect this holy ground. Ordered to abandon this new sanctuary, the ambitious Dagon turned his blade on his fellow Jedi. Yet his affection for Centauri gave her the opening to strike his hand, sinking his ambition down a back that tank. Step aside. No. Then I must go it alone. Our naive Cal unburies these once lost dreams by letting Dagon draw a new breath, hoping he'll join him in his fight against the Empire, teaching him the tragedy of the Jedi Order being prayed towards extinction by the Empire has given rise to a need. The need for a home where he could flourish in peace. Tanalor could have been such a place. With his feelings of betrayal enshrouding him, he bleeds his kyber crystal. It was my discovery! My home and they just expected me to throw it away! Dagon, wait. <sighs> I refused to obey and was betrayed by the one I trusted most! No, stop! Even if his wish were noble, his attachment to his ambition pulls him completely to the dark side. The past is a chain. I must sever it completely! You're not the only one who survived. Bolt is a family man who is attached to love. After being forced into a corner by the Imperial Inquisition, his wife Tayalo sacrificed herself so he and his daughter could escape. Wanting his daughter Kata's safety, he turns to Denvik for protection. Alongside a place for peace for her, Denvik could part onto him who killed his wife. All he had to do was betray Cal and lead Seer to her death. Where his love strays is in his attachment to being a good father, causing him to threaten Kata, believing it's for her own good that she submits to him. Kata doesn't get to have her own voice with him. All that's left for Bold is his role as a good father, overtaking his actual relationship with his daughter. Listen to them, please! Consumed by his attachments like Dagon, he now wields his lightsaber. His conviction showing nothing will get in the way of having Kata's and his freedom isolated on the abandoned Tanalor. monster boat. No. I'm a father. With Bo's betrayal, Cal lets his lips sip the dark side after his rage for losing Seer begins to swallow him. Our hearts are precious. Our feelings open us to being vulnerable. It's easy to want to keep them safely hidden in the darkness where no one can see our innocence. My crew, Cordova, mm. Seer! Mm. They're all dead because of him! Cal! Mm. This is what Bo wants! I know you are in pain, but this is not you! But love need not be attached to hatred. If you open your heart to someone, they could aid in preventing you from closing down. A safe space for your love to flourish. Even darkness can hide the warmth lit up by love. It is with light where the dark has no place to hide. <laughs> <laughs>